You can support me on Patreon for just a buck a month. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Christian Hannah Har here today, finally with a Blu-ray update. Uh, Blu-ray DVD. There's actually a DVD in here, so I do want to get you guys to see that. Um, sorry, I've gotten kind of lazy with these, and I'm kicking myself in the butt because these are usually pretty fun videos to do. So, without further ado, let's get started on this Blu-ray DVD update. I'm really excited. Don't worry. It's no BS. It's a lot of Screen Factory, Arrow, all that great stuff. So the first movie we'll look at is a movie that, in my theater experience, was one of the most enjoyable films I've ever seen in my life. Uh, in the short 26 years that I've been on this planet, I had the pleasure of seeing The Strangers in theaters in high school before I was allowed to get in this because it was a rated R movie, wasn't it? Yes, uh, we snuck in. We didn't sneak in. We bought tickets. Just pulled the usual. I forgot my ID, and we got in to see. <laughs> we got in to see. Um, the Strangers, and this was such a fun, exciting movie to see in the theaters. Had so much fun with The Strangers. This, uh, this, this Blu-ray from Scream Factory is very good. You know, this is kind of goes in that Jeepers Creepers category as movies that aren't very old that got Scream Factory releases because they were just quite honestly that good and good enough for there to be a market for Scream Factory to put this out. So. Excellent work on this Blu-ray release. Um, the movie is great. Haven't really dove into too many of the special features. Um, uh, the element of terror interviews with the cast and crew sounds good. Maybe Liv Tyler, which was Steven Tyler's daughter, is in this. Probably did some talking in that, so that's cool. So, The Strangers on Arrow Video Blu-ray. Arrow Video. I meant Scream Factory. I'm sorry. Drag Me to Hell. This is a Sam Raimi film that just got released from Scream Factory. This movie was not just released. Scream Factory just picked up the option to re-release this. And Drag Me to Hell. Um, I never heard a whole lot of good things about this. I really didn't. Um, I gave it a watch. It had it had that Sam Raimi quick action horror scene look to it. Very much like Army of Darkness. Not look wise, but style film. It. it you could when you watch it, you know it's a Sam Raimi film. It's got that style of 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 look that he has. I don't want to spoil it, but the ending is one thing that people always usually typically have a lot of negative things to say about. Just not a very good paying off ending. I thought this movie was okay. Uh, not worth the twenty something dollars I spent to get this. Honestly, I would have much rather just seen this on Netflix. Um, but some people love it, so that's fine. I have not watched this yet, but I picked it up because I just saw a lot of people picking up. That is 976 Evil. Don't know a whole lot about this other than that Robert England directed this. Um, so that is interesting, and maybe this will get a review from me in the future, 976 Evil. Please drop a comment below. Tell me if I should even bother to put this in. Some people said... I heard some people say this just got released for the hell of it. And some people said they really like this movie. The next movie is a movie starring the one and only... I believe Linda Blair is in this. I believe it was the early 80s. 81. And this movie is called Hell Knight from Scream Factory. Um, another classic... Another classic horror movie makes its way onto Scream Factory. I have heard of Hell Knight. I've seen trailers for it. I've seen the trailer for it before. Uh, just out of, just, you know, searching on stuff through YouTube. And I, I, I had come across the trailer for this saying to myself, well, I'll pick that up. I had put it down on a list of movies I wanted to get years ago when I would go to the store and just pull up my list and say, okay, uh, you know, Return of Living Dead 3. Okay, let me look for that. Hell Knight was on the list before. Never could find it. Never could find a release of it anywhere. Screen Factory solved that for me. I guess this is a pretty underground film. Or just not underground, just never really got much cult status. Not enough to conjure up, you know, the studios just putting it out on DVD more times than, than once, possibly. But this movie was pretty good. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be as far as just as much charm and things like that, but 97... Uh, not, not, I think it was, Hell Knight was a pretty good movie, so I, I, I don't regret picking this up. The next movie is Dog Soldiers, another Scream Factory. Um, this movie, I had a false pretense about... When I, when, I saw the tr when I saw the release for this, I said, Oh, that's a cool 80s film I probably haven't seen. Um, little did I know that this movie was not an 80s film. As a matter of fact, it came out in like 2001 or such. Or such. So, uh, never really finished it. Um... 
I'm not really big into the werewolf type movies. Uh, the one exception for me is The Howling. I think it's the greatest werewolf movie I've ever seen. I prefer it over American Werewolf in London, which I catch a lot of flack for. Um, but you know what? Maybe I need to just sit down with this again and watch it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Dog Soldiers in the comment section. The next movie is another Scream Factory that is Lord of Illusion. And this was a movie I was unfortunately not very pleased with. Uh, just. It's weird. I, I, this may sound really pretentious of me, but for a movie that seemed very. I don't know. It didn't seem very inspired, despite the fact of how crazy of a, a cool of a concept it is. I don't know. It just never clicked with me. And I really like Clive Barker. You know, they can't all be winners, I guess. And that's just my subjective opinion. Some of you may love Lord of Illusion. I'm glad to have it. Don't get me wrong. It, it looks great on the shelf with the rest of my screen factories. But Lord of Illusion just never really hit it with me. I, I tried. I just didn't really like it. The next movie is it with my one DVD of this uh, set. And this will become obsolete once I pick this up on Scream Factory. Uh, this is an It's Alive DVD trilogy I picked up at my local video store yes i have a video store i have a national video how cool is that and they do sell new movies and i picked up this this it's alive trilogy and i absolutely adore it's alive i think it's one of the greatest 70s horror movies ever me and my dad bonded over it the other day we were talking about it's alive but how classic of a film it is excuse me um i watched all three of these and they just they're perfect for what they are it's alive is a classic horror movie it's alive 2 is a worthy sequel and It's Alive 3 is as ridiculous as it should be. The next movie is a movie that I need to watch again because I'm not sure what I saw. That is Wolf Guy on Arrow Video. This is a uh, bizarre movie. Um, yes, very bizarre movie. Um, don't really know what I watched. Uh, I'll have to pop this in again, though. This was a blind buy. It's an Arrow Video movie that I found in the store, and I was like, well, cool, I gotta get it. So... Uh, yeah, that's Wolf Guy. Let me know what you guys think about that. And last but certainly not least, probably the coolest of these Blu-ray updates that I have, that is Basket Case on Arrow Video. Basket Case is one of the most classic B-80s movies in the world. Cla but Basket Case has obtained one of the most intense cult followings ever. What is there not to love about a boy and his punk of a brother that is that just lives in this basket that his brother carries him around in and anytime the brother gets jealous of the other one he pops out of his basket and harms whoever is taking the attention away from himself so many this is all special features in fact if you can believe that so many special features I don't even know where to begin um, a lot of commentaries a lot of cool archive things basket case one of the you know, I, I was I was hoping at first Scream Factory had this, but Arrow Video hit a home run with this. This is probably one of the best releases they've done, and I hope that they can release the other two. Arrow, if you see this, uh, probably not, but we need a uh, Basket Case two and three. I love Basket Case two. It's a, it's such a weird. It almost feels like a Tim Burton type thing because of all the weird looking characters in it. I could just be the only one who thinks that. Basket Case on Arrow Video. So that is it for this Blu-ray DVD update. I hope you guys enjoyed these. Tell me what you think about these pickups. Tell me what I need to get that has just come out for Scream Factory because I'm not always the first person to find things out. Um, I do know about Return of the Living Dead Part 2. I am such a huge fan of that. I have a poster of it right here. I pre-ordered it on Scream Factory with the poster. Love Return of the Living Dead Part 2. But anything other than that, please let me know in the comment sections below. This is Christian Hennahar, and we'll see you guys next time.